Hey there! Today, we're going to explore the Codux e-commerce starter project. Now with this, you can build any e-commerce React website with limitless visual styling. You can start with Codux's pre-built components and also connect it to the Wix e-commerce headless services to manage orders, shipping, and payments all in one place. So let's dive right in and see how it all works. All right, so once you have downloaded Codux and logged in, you'll land into your very own dashboard. As you can see on the left-hand side, you are able to start a new project. You can open up a local project. You can also clone a Git repository. You also have access to any existing projects that you might have and also a dedicated tutorial section. Now heading back into the new project section, you can see that we have quite a few different starting points or demo projects that we can use. So here we wanna focus on the e-commerce starter project. So click on this, you can now go ahead and enter some project details. I might call this Mizco Merch and you can make sure you select any folder on your local machine and hit create. This will then go ahead and install all the files that you are required for this project onto your local machine. Now once ready, Codux will ask you to run some configuration scripts. All you need to do is hit run and this will start to install all the scripts and all the files onto your local machine. Once that is done, all you need to do is hit close and you have now access to all the project components that have already been built for you for this e-commerce store. Very quickly, all the previews will have loaded and just before we dive into any of these components, let's go ahead and take a look at the UI around this application. As you can see in the top left corner, we are currently in the Mizco Merch branch or folder project. We are currently on the main branch of this project. Now on the right hand side, you also have some additional features such as committing your changes and also being able to sync all the changes up into the Git repository that all the developers and people on the team can actually approve and sync and merge within their branch. Then you are also able to share this project and the top right, you also have some account details. Now on the left hand side, you can see that we have all these different boards and these boards contain all the different components that make up this e-commerce store that we have just built. As you can see, if we take a look at the header, we already have a header component built. We also have a footer that's built. We can take a look at some of the maybe the product cards. We've got a few different product cards already built for us. And this is a great way for us to actually get started with our store. And just remember, these are just pre-built components. You can actually go ahead and create new components on your own from scratch to extend the functionality or extend the capabilities of this platform. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at one of the examples. Let's go ahead and take a look at the products page. Now, as you can see over here, we have two files. One that is the products gallery page, and this one is actually connected to real data from the Wix e-commerce store. Now, the one on the right is just a test board that contains mock data, so you can see how your designs will look with different products and images. So let's go ahead and take a look at the products gallery page that can be potentially connected to the Wix headless services. Now, once the component has loaded up, you can see that we are in a new UI. So in this environment, you can see over here, we have tabs, so we can actually go back to our home and we can also flick back into the component level. On the left-hand side, you can see we have a sidebar and this gives us access to all the different elements. So, so for this board specifically, you have all the different layers and all the different elements that are part of this component and you can go ahead and drill down double click into different elements and directly select them. You also have access to some board settings that give you access and settings to adjust the actual board itself, anything from the window size to the canvas size as well. Now in the bottom left corner, you have some files and these are all the files that are actually included in your folder on your local machine. So everything inside my Mizco Merch folder, these are all the files that are required for this project to run. We also have access to any git and changed files over here. And we also have access to any additional scripts that we want to run for this project. Across the top, we also have breadcrumbs. Right now we are nested down into, if I click over into elements panel, you can see that we are nested down into one of these components. If I click all the way back up, it takes me all the way back up and bubbles me up to the desired element. Now on the right hand side, you can also see that we have some additional features over here. This one allows us to reload the preview and we'll see how this actually becomes useful once we connect our store to the Wix headless services. You have different zoom abilities, different sizing abilities, and in the top right corner over here, you have different accesses to properties. You have computed styles for 
any of the elements that you select and you can also adjust any styles as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at a use case over here. Imagine that we have completed the designs and the developer has built some of the components, but we realize we actually want to make some changes. Instead of asking the developer to make the changes, or if you are a developer and you wanna go in and make changes directly in this UI, you can actually go ahead and double click onto any of these components. So let's just take a look at this component over here, which is a product card. Let's say we wanna add a border around this card. By selecting the product card, we can actually head over to the styles. We can scroll all the way down and we can see that there is a setting or a style for border. We can change that to one pixel and then we can also change the color to charcoal. And we can close that. And if we click off onto any other element, just to give this a quick preview, you can see that we can make stylistic changes in Codux directly. Now, the great thing is that this is not just a design file. These changes will actually automatically save to the files on your local machine. And if you have connected Codux to your Git repository, you can commit and sync all these changes directly to your developers for them to merge with their production code, which means that you are able to make real changes all within Codux. So let's take a look at another example. Let's go ahead and select our product card. And let's say we want to make this design feel a little bit more welcoming. Let's say we want to go ahead and round the corners as well. Select the product card, head over to the styles, and you can see that under corners, you can go ahead and adjust the corner radius. So let's say we want to have 12 pixel rounded corners, and that looks pretty good. It makes it feel a little bit more fun and welcoming and approachable in terms of design. Now you can see that some of the corners of the images are spanning out beyond the box. Let's go ahead and double click into the product card. We can select the image itself. And once again, we can round the corners. So we just want 12 pixels on, whoops, 12 pixels on the top left, 12 pixels on the top right. But if we want to change the bottom left and bottom right to zero, we can unlock, change the bottom left to zero, bottom right to zero. And you can see, let me just double click out of this view that the image perfectly sits inside this box or this container. And also you can see that it's neatly tucked within the card as well. So as you can see very quickly, you were able to make changes directly to the design and the code itself. Now, at the same time, if you are a code wrangler, you don't want to be using the UI to make changes. You want to dive straight into the code itself to make changes. You can. So depending on what element you have selected, you could head over to your selectors under the class name, hit the three dots, view code, and this will open up the code for you to make changes directly in this interface as well. So Codux allows you to make changes with their UI, but also make changes directly with code itself. So as you can see in the top right corner now, we have two changes that have not been committed. Once again, to be clear, these changes that we have already made have automatically been saved in our local machine. However, if we want to commit these to the GitHub repo, we have to go ahead and click commit. We might say we updated the product card designs. We can go ahead and hit commit. And once that is done, we can actually go ahead and hit sync. And this can actually push all the changes to the Git repository for the team to merge into the production code base. Let's say we've made the changes that we need, but we want to now connect this project to the Wix headless services. So heading over to Chrome, you can see that if you head over to wix.com slash studio slash developers slash headless, you'll be able to connect this store with their headless services. So by clicking get started, I can go ahead and log into my account. Once I have logged in, I'll be asked the question I'm currently creating this project for. This might be just a personal project for now. And I'm primarily here as a, I'm not a developer. I can also select another role, hit continue. And right now I'm also building an e-commerce store. I can hit continue. And I might call this Mizco Merch as the project name. And once that has been completed, I can head down to my headless settings right down here, click that. I can go ahead and create an OAuth app, give this an app name. I will call this Mizco Merch, create OAuth app. And all I need to do to connect the Codux project that we had created with the headless services is to copy the client ID, head back into Codux, go to my project files all the way down in the bottom left corner, 
I can go ahead and just collapse all the folders, open up my .env or environment file, replace this client ID, hit save, commit this change, and now my project is connected with the Wix headless services. So what does that actually mean? So if I head back into my store under Wix Geo, I can actually go ahead and start adding products from this portal and see them being reflected in my very own project. So if I head over to store products, I'll head into products. I can go ahead and hit new product. Let's just add a digital file for now. Let's say I wanna go ahead and upload a photo of myself that people can buy for $1 off my very own Mizco merch store. I can go ahead and upload a file and I might go select an image. I can then go ahead and upload some media from my computer, upload an image. Once that has uploaded, I can go ahead and select the image and add that to my project. Then we can scroll further down and I might just give this a name. So photo of Mizco and a splendid photo of Mizco that you can keep. We can scroll further down. I might give this a price of $1 and that's looking pretty good. I can go ahead and hit save. And as you can see, this item has now been added to my online store, but it doesn't end there. So what I can do is head back into Kodox, head over to my home, and I can see my product gallery page. I can pop that open. I can hit refresh. And if I scroll all the way down, you can see that we now have a file called Photo of Misco, and it's being sold for $1. As you can see, very quickly you are able to get started with an e-commerce project with pre-built components and also connected to the Wix headless services that allows you to get access to their entire system for managing payments, managing stock, and managing your products all in one place. So hopefully that gave you a better understanding of how to get started with the Kodux e-commerce starter project.